Alright guys, we are here. Grand Finals, Gold Division Cycle 4. And we are not only here, we are live. Always nice. Gonna have a couple of new people here joining me. Well, one new and one has been here before, but still. It's been a while actually since you've been on, I think, uh, Count Crapula. Yeah. But regardless, we're, su we're gonna assume that you haven't lost your touch and actually know what the hell is going on in Han, so... If you could correctly identify the three heroes on the Legion side, that'd be great. And don't just read their names, you can look at the portraits. Uh, excuse me? No, I'm just, I'm just screwing with you. No. What? <laughs> I'm saying, it's been so I long since you've I casted, I'm wondering if you remember exactly what Han, what heroes are in Han anymore, but I think this, it was mostly sarcastic. I, I've, seen, I've seen these few heroes a few times before, uh, you know? Just, I'm guessing, but I don't know. I have to check sometimes. Look, I don't do a lot of verification when it comes to co-casters, right? Yeah, but occasionally I, I, know you I know, like, I remember, like, the ten most common ones, right. so I think I should be fine. Yeah, you, you'll probably be okay. And, yeah, pretty much the ten most common ones have been picked out of the six that have already been selected. But, uh, yeah, we were well into the drafting phase, all right, because they got actually started pretty quick, damn quickly while I was trying to set up various things and... Either way, we are here. Dr. Pulsar and Pebbles, the first two bands from Cluckmuck, Crack, and then Cthulhu, the first couple of bands from Serenia on the uh, Ruxer side. Again, a name I'm sure I'm mispronouncing, but not that big a deal. Parasite, Magnus, and Torture on the Legion team. Swiftblade, Rhapsody, and Tempest on the Hellboard side. Second banding stage was Wretched Hag, Prisoner 945, and Gauntlet from Cluckmuck, and Gemini, Soul Stealer, and Silhouette from Ruxer. So, Madman now fit fourth pick. Now that I have rapidly gone through the entire drafting and picking phase. What's sticking out to you so far? Mm, not much, really. I think <laughs> both uh, drafts are... Oh, there's the first, there. like, maybe a bit out-of-the-box pick <laughs> in <laughs> yeah. Lessons. But yeah, I think both sides have fairly solid drafts so far. Uh, um, I think I'd favor uh, Hellborns slightly. I think yeah. they have two really strong heroes, but both drafts look fine so far. And I'll, it'll be interesting what you choose for the last pick here on Legion. Yeah, as we've got a madman, so potentially both a suicide and a short laner. I would kind of prefer that if he he uh, runs in the suicide lane, and I don't know if Nox actually yeah. plays madman too much. I'm pretty sure it will be a suicide madman. I know that them strats oh, likes it, and yeah. Nox. Yeah. Yeah, there, there we, we go. go. So that's definitely confirmed there. So Nox gonna be on the PM, and I'm gonna be mid Magnus with suicide madman, probably torture in the bot lane is my guess, but. Uh, I don't know, Legion side's lane's relatively transparent at this point, but they do have a bunch of really strong heroes, and uh, we'll see how they fit together. Hellborn side waiting on their last pick, but as far as Legion side's composition goes, it's... that's I think that last part, how they fit together, is perhaps the only thing I'm worried about. I don't know, I mean, I guess Puppet Master's not the most farming-oriented hero, so it's not like Madman won't have anything, but Magmus is going to need some items... Um, Parasite's going to take the jungle, so there's not going to be too many stacks. And I'm kind of wondering if there's enough farm to go around. And even if there is, they've got, like, gank-oriented heroes and Parasite and Puppet Master. And Madman's sort of that way, too. And then, like, a, more of a team fighter. although I guess he can gank, too, in Magnus. But I don't know if I like this thing so much. Uh, the torture is a bit, like, I don't know, different. Because I think, apart from that, they have a pretty solid ganking-focused draft with, with fairly well-rounded lanes. And... It's on late game as well, but the torture pick, I'm not really sure what yeah. it's, in, it's in there for, if it's purely to zone the swift blade, effectively. Which might be a fair enough reason. It, I mean, that would be good, I think, if they could be assured that the swift blade was going to be a suicide swift blade, or a long lane swift blade at least. But it could very well be a short lane swifty, and torture yeah, is probably not going to go top. So. The game has started. No, pass. The game has started, yeah. it's fine. Uh, okay, so what do I do now? Uh, you should have a monkey in the top left. Uh, I think I need to relog. Yeah, you might Once need again. to relog. Yeah, Funkin master. Exactly. Okay, well, they're going for the physical synergy on the Hellborn team. Um, but yes, that's the other guy, Yellow Train. So apparently this is just TZP now, is what I've done. This. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> TZP team. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Excellently done. And nice. we're just getting done with the drafting phase here, so you didn't miss, mu you didn't miss too much. And Actually, I missed a little bit. Okay. Anyway, but, um... Drunken Master last pick on top of the Pestilence. They are definitely going for a physical damage focused team. And they're going to be relatively tanky for all these ganks that are supposedly going to be coming out of Legion's side. And will be coming out of Legion's side. But, yeah, I don't know if I'm a big. Interesting. Oh, no, never mind, it's fine. 
the Super nice. I don't know if I'm a big uh, fan of the Drunken Master and Pestilence. I like Pesty, but DM is catchy. Well, it's a nice combination. I mean, the Mind Sword oh, yeah. together uh, with the Drunken Master is going right. to be a huge factor. Considering, like, right. Legion heroes, they're, like, from the start, very low armor. I mean, Magmas, Puppet, Madman, they don't have, like, high base armor. So they're going to get pretty, like, wrecked with when, like, pests get high levels. Like, the physical damage is going to be so high. So... I completely... What? Okay. Ah! Yeah, uh, oh yeah, I remembered. Oh, that's I a good point. Lost them. Yeah. I'm too tired. I forgot about that. Oh, okay. Alright, that's that's fair. Yeah, I might as well skip out so there's no controversy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Hope you find someone else. <laughs> yeah, essentially, what? I'm on a LAN right now. I'm Yeah, I'm on a LAN at, like, Insania's place, and Klukmuk is here playing as well. He that's, can't see my screen, but obviously fair. they don't know that in the game, so... Okay. It's fair enough that I just jump out of it. Alright, well, but that's good too luck. bad. We'll, uh... Yeah. Have fun yeah. with the cost. See ya. We'll see, see if ya. we can get somebody else on at some point, but if not, I trust you, Yellow Train. Yeah, that's, I won't It's probably not a, not a great... Decision, but uh, <laughs> oh, trust well, your friend. Uh, uh, wow, yeah, good wow. luck, Quincy. Good luck. <laughs> uh, have fun, guys. Uh, all right. So anyway, yes, that, I, I did forget as well. Also, Rexars is up one zero as they came from the winners bracket, but um, yep. I did update the draft. So anyway, everything's fine. And yes, so too bad we can't bring Cow Crapper in here, but that's <laughs> it's, it's better to know. do that than than this. Okay, well, we'll put out the the call for any potentially more co-casters because I do like to have three. But in the meantime, since you missed the drafting phase entirely, uh, thoughts on yeah. these, on either of these teams? Well, like the Legion side, that's like classic Ogre, I'd say. I mean, this guy love love loves these heroes. I mean, Puppet Clockmuck loves him, Magmus Clockmuck loves him, and Parasite as well. So I think this is like a draft Ogre is pretty comfortable with. I think they're gonna like perform pretty well. <laughs> well, I hope so at least. Uh, <laughs> and the Hellborn side, like I, I like the Raptor as well. I always like Rhapsody and Tempest. That combination just gives so much early pressure. You can push down so many towers with just those two heroes alone. So, <laughs> like I, I, I'm giving the edge to Hellborn actually. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. I mean, if they get their physical synergy together, then. Yeah. It's going to be really hard to deal with because, yeah, I mean, not only is it low base armor, but there's no really good tank on the Legion side either. I mean, Magnus exactly. is probably their best tank, but like, he's not really a tank. He's just kind of a strength yeah. hero. So, uh, uh, I think that's going to be the problem with uh, Legion because, because now they don't have a hero in the front. I mean, take Hellborn for example. They're going to have Pestilence jumping in and jumping out, or like being in the front. Meanwhile, Legion they have a Magma starting the fight, but who's going to be like the one in the front? So I think that's gonna cause some issues for the Legion side, at least like in the later stage of the game. Right. Mm, so. And I mean, <laughs> obviously, I think their their plan is probably not to so much get to the later stage of the game. But yeah. They're probably looking for a relatively early victory here. I mean, Parasite. Exactly. Is I mean, Parasite actually doesn't scale all that badly, but earlier game Parasite get an early puzzle box, start pushing some towers, and don't let Drunken Master, Pestilence, and uh, Swiftblade really get out to. A solid start because those three heroes will out carry the Legion team, yeah. even with um, even with Madman and Puppet Master. In the I can agree more. Legion team, but damn it, there's pause, and now I don't I don't know what I'm not used to pauses. Sorry, I do a lot of replay casting, so I'm just used to skipping yeah. straight through pauses and you just talk about what people do. But I'm not gonna be able to be paused for too much longer. Every game has a pause. I don't know. It feels like like I'm not even joking right now. Every it game I see. I've seen so far, at least, and Han has had at least one pause in the start. You should go back and watch the first two games of Loser Back in Finals. No pauses. Yeah. It was amazing. Oh, what, really? Okay. Two straight games, no pauses. And I noticed because they paused in the third game, and I'm like, wow, that's the first time. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, that must have been nice to play without interruptions, or it catch was, without it interruptions. Was very nice. And yeah, it looks yeah. like we'll be getting underway here. And oh, nice. It looks like they're ready. Again, they have to be uh, soon anyway. 
going turn six. Yeah. Okay, right, nice. Well, let's go. We'll be getting out of this then and get to see some items yeah. and some laning phases. So speaking of that, laning phase from the Legion side, almost certainly going to be Torture and Puppet Bot, Mid, Madness, on. Suicide, Madman, and Parasite. Probably in his own woods, I would guess. Or in the pseudo trailing bottom. Hellborn, yep. they've got the interest. This is the interesting thing for me. Um, Denver Pro is their suicide player, and Big yep. Arlong is their carry player, which means that it's going to be a short lane carry drunken, I guess. But uh, it's, yeah, it's going to be that. I don't know why you do that. Like, it, it seems like Dragon Master would be a better suicide option than Swift Blade. Not like Swift Blade's a bad suicide, just that mm. I think the DM's better, especially against the torture. Well, okay, let's see. Uh, so, Legion are running a Suicide Madman, and I'd say, like, one versus one, Drunken is better versus Madman. So, I think that's, like, one of the main reasons behind this yeah. lane setup. And Swift play, like, he can't really, or, unless he's, like, diving the tower, he can't really die to any ganks. Yeah. Or it's gonna be hard to kill him. I mean, Puppet Hold, he can just spin it out. Right. So, I mean, killing a Swift Blade with a Puppet Master Parasite isn't going to be the easiest. I think it's the Torture that's so, going to be the problem for him. The impalement damage yeah, going exactly. straight through the spin. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, you're right, they might not be able to kill him, although the question is, if they effectively use impalement, how much is he going yeah. to get? So, I guess you can go either way. But apparently they feel a little bit more comfortable with this setup. I know Big Arlong has played Swift Blade oh. and does play Swift Blade, so... Would you look, they're switching it up. Okay, yeah. I like this, actually. Puppet, puppet Torture Mid? Okay. Apparently. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be really nice. I mean, Magmus wins against Swift Blade. Yep. And Rhapsody Pesty versus Double Range. Unless Tempest ganks, I'd say Legion has an advantage. And even if Tempest ganks, I'm not sure there's too much you yeah. can do. It's not like it's Ophelia or a Parasite that can come in from the yeah. side with a creep or something like that. He basically has to just like walk in and kind of hope. And yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, the other thing too is. Like, if this were a Magmus instead of a Pestilence, at least he'd have some range on the stun. But Pesty's yeah. not going to stun anything, unless Rhapsody initiates. And Rhapsody's stun is not, the long, not, not that long a range anyway, so... Oh, this is going to be... Um, I mean, playing Pesty against doubled range? Suffer. He, he, he's not going to have a fun time. He's going to have so hard, like, running up to the creeps without taking four harass... No, right. auto attacks. So... Uh, I guess the only disadvantage is Torture is not the greatest mid lane hero, yeah. especially uh, in this type of situation. Because this isn't that much of a kill lane. It's definitely going to be annoying, but I. No, well, maybe I'm speaking too oh. soon, because Pestilence <laughs> is taking a lot of damage. So, he's going to be in some trouble here, and of course, he really hasn't itemized for this situation. No. As he's going to be taking a health pot off of Rhapsody, but after this, they've got three tangos on him and two tangos on Rhapsody. And we're I mean, a minute and 15 seconds in, so that's gonna go away quickly. And he's not gonna get the early bottle as well to no. fill up with region straight away. Well, this, is go this is gonna be tougher for Roberto. Yeah. <laughs> he's not gonna find him here. Obviously, as well, you know, shutting down Pestilence early, he needs a portal key, like, he needs a portal key, and he needs a portal key fast, because that hero <laughs> doesn't work without a portal key at all. So, if he doesn't get decent farm even here, you know, a bottle and get some ganks off, get some kills, and get a portal key by 15 to 20 minutes, which is very possible, this could be a, a, a low impact pestilence. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's why I don't like real pesty. He's so portal key centered. I mean, right. with the recent nerves, when they like, uh, yeah, I think they added the cost on the flight and his ulti again. So I mean, he has a such low mana pool. And without the port key, it's gonna be really hard to run someone down. That's right. least, of the, uh, and that's gonna cause some issues, I'd say. And top rune was contested a little bit by torture, and as you pick up the regen, so now we're gonna get the two minute rune. It was pretty much immediately knocked off. Top lane, meanwhile, we talked about mid a fair bit. It's gonna be Drunken Master up against the Madman. Demstrat's currently at 200 gold per minute with that CS right there, and Drunken at 274 GPM. So definitely winning this lane, but not destroying the Madman. He's getting his fair share of CS. Actually, Madman could be in some trouble. Gets a stock off just in time though, and we'll take a health pot and a mana pot. So now. Yeah, Drunken's got to be careful, because a barrel roll could finish him off. Is he going to get in the range for it? Looks like he will, but he doesn't really want it. Mana Pot will be knocked off by the Archer, but uh, Drunken get forced out of lane. And he has no Mana Potion, or Health Potion. He's just got one t one trait, so... Demstrats can take control of this lane at this point. Well, he's sending out a boat right now, yeah. so... <laughs> That's going to help. Uh, oh. 
And Pesty already has one. Oh, okay, Th it's three, three minutes into the game. Never mind. I thought it was early. <laughs> yeah. And at this point, he's currently at 198 gold per minute, so not doing all that well. Uh, let's see. Although Puppet, to be fair, is at 220 GPM, so anyway, who do Puppet gonna be here? Puppeteers hold whatever them things. Any Pestilence as the Skeleton King comes in from Parasite. Dance for from Rhapsody doing a lot, actually two-man stun from Pestilence. We'll get the flight on out, so he should be just fine. So, decent gank from Pesty, or from Parasite, figuring I got the Skeleton King, might as well throw a net. And forcing Pestilence out of the lane. That was quite close, actually. Yeah. That was really close. And he gets the, oh. So he gets a refresh from uh, the bottom. And top lane, Drunken Master balling up a double damage rune, so. Kind of miss some CS at the wave, but he will be fine. Bottom lane, actually, Magmus has a bottle of his own, and one more Lava Surge is going to kill this uh, Swift Blade, so he's definitely going to dive this. Yeah, Swift Blade going to be a lot of trouble. Bloodlust should go through right there. And we were talking about earlier how Magmus should beat the Swift Blade here, and that's absolutely what has happened. 420 gold per minute on Mag. That's and pretty nice. 250 GPM on Swift Blade, so he's not having that bad a time either. It's just... Yeah. Well, I, I think this is mainly because Swiftly can't really get a bottle. I mean, a Drunken and Pesty has one, and if you get three bottles, it's going to be quite inefficient. Yeah. You can't, there's not three runes in the game, right. so you can't really count three of them. But Magmus had one, so he, I'd say he got the kill because of that yep. factor. And both heroes actually, or both teams going for short lane bottles, which is something I'm not a huge fan of, especially on heroes that aren't, you know, like Wretched Hag, they can't get over Cliffs very easily. Because I feel like you spend too much time out of lane going for the rune. Um, I don't know if you have any massive differ disagreements about that. But uh, nope, middle lane actually. Sorry, the knock's gonna die here almost certainly as he's getting pushed down. Tempest coming in for the gank is successful, so a little bit more utility out of that jungle player than the opposing teams. Parasite has a Catman champion, but I don't really think he's oh, gonna he do missed. much. <laughs> well, he tried. <laughs> was, um, but did you, see, did you catch that med? It was quite uh, nice. Yeah, well, I, burn, actually. I did. But uh, anyway, short lane bottle. Thoughts? Uh, short lane bottle. Um, I'd say it depends, actually. Uh, like, do you remember the meta where the jungler always went bottle? I mean, Tempest, for example. Not Ophelia, really, but when they green played, they usually got bottle on my yeah, ups. Sure. Or no, was it? Uh, yeah, exactly. So he camped through not always. But now, when you have. Uh, well, like, it, it isn't really that usual anymore. So I'd say, like, the short lane player or carry, in this case, a Magmus, has, like, up taken that slot. Or, like, it, okay, it, it's really hard to say this, but I agree with you. I don't think it's the best. But if you need regen. And yeah, you don't fine. have two bottles on the team. It's it it's quite fine. fine. I just I'd much rather see it on a min in the suicide, because the suicide yeah. usually has the river advantage. They can just go straight down the river. They don't have to work through the jungle for the most part. And obviously, a suicide leaving the lane tends to have less negative impact than a short lane leaving the lane. But anyway, top lane. He used a tempest ultimate to try to catch out Madman and did not get him. So ends up just fine. Nope. Demtrat's still dead because for some reason he's like, let's stick around and die to a solo drunken master. Either way, um, looks like that'll be a 2 to 1 hero kill advantage there for Rexars, but still a relatively even game in terms of overall golden experience. In fact, just about perfectly even. And the thing I'm most concerned well, about is Nox, but yeah, sorry. He's gonna, yeah, he's level 5. Oh no. Well, it's quite even in the mid lane. I mean, Puppet has 233, Pest has 2. 29. Right. So, oh! <laughs> wow, the mid lanes are like, exactly. Oh, and yep, sick. middle lane actually, Parasite gonna jump on top of Pestilence, there goes the Voodoo Puppet, and uh, Pesty no chance of getting out of that, actually nice infest there from Parasite, saves his life, otherwise he probably would have died as well, but solid gank. And, oh, that's interesting. Oh, they took the lead, okay. Yep. Sorry, I'm sending a quick message. Wow. Magmus is gonna get such an early portal key. Yeah, yeah he's at 380 gold per minute. And it's gonna just skyrocket. As soon as Magmus gets some levels, he farms so quickly. He can just push out lanes. 
with the higher level and volcanic touch. Yeah. Uh, and you see straight away, I mean, Swift played Haze like at the same uh, when we looked at him before. But Magnus has just got over. It. Uh, yeah, no, it, it, oh, it went down because of the Bloodlust. Yeah, guess, but, the, um, it's, that's mainly the Bloodlust. But in general, like his GPM is a little bit lower, but we looked at him immediately after he had a Bloodlust kill. So he's probably doing a little bit better, at l or at least the same, at probably a little bit better. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, Hellborn has mid ward. They tried to gank mid, but they failed. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, effective oh. warding coming out there from Rhapsody. And top lane Madman being forced to go back to base. He's at 216 gold per minute, so not having quite as nice a time as opposing Team's Suicide, but in general, Ogre does have a slight lead. Middle lane, second. meanwhile, actually, Pestilence going to get jumped on by the Bugs Sold Sold and Parasite's here as well, so. This they is are exactly super, what it said. Yeah, they're super focused on showing those pestilence, which, again, I, I agree with you. I think that's exactly the right thing to do. Like, he's their initiation. Pretty much Wait, all of what? it. <laughs> Would you look at that? Telvar has two midwards now. One covering the river. Yeah. And, and somewhat of a ledge, and another one, okay. Well, they can see uh, everything. Yeah. It's like that song, they can see for miles and miles. Wow. They, oh well, I guess it's right. They really want to like defend this pestilence, but I'd say they should switch the lanes. Yep. I agree. Drunken would do a bit better than the pestilence mid yeah. right now, at least. Yeah. I guess and the question then there is: Does Pesty lose top to Madman? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he probably should. Uh, or okay, he probably ball? will. Yeah, middle lane actually the knocks him and puts some flies on him, but unable to get him as the tempest. A little bit too slow coming in from side, but here's Drunken Master actually, and now Nox is totally dead. There's no way he's getting out of this one in torture. We're realizing very quickly he says, I'd love to save you, but save you, my good friend, but there is nothing I can do. And that's going to turn into a mid push as well. So Temps coming in with the elementals. We've got four of the five heroes, and even Swifty hanging out off to the side with Parasite. That should be a pretty easy tier one tower push in middle. Perhaps he, of course, helping out the dance floor, and Temps elementals contributing to an easy amount of damage. Top lane Madman is kind of pushing a little bit, but not nearly tower. fast enough. And he's gonna have ported on anyway, so he needs to leave. Whoa, well, Magma as soon as his portal key, only 500 gold away. And he's, I, I think he's gonna get it perfectly when he's level 11. So, I mean, level 2 ultimate and an early portal key. Uh, yep. Easy team fight for Legion side. Yeah, should be. And top lane, Madman might be in some trouble, gonna get spotted out. Stock goes through, he's looking for an angle to not get cut off on, and it's gonna wear off right there, Rapsy shoves the staccato. No, actually not gonna find it! Stock gonna go through once again, and the Wild Hunter is here with the Torturer, but a two-man stun from Pestilence. Should be a pretty easy kill on Madman and Torturer, both of them gonna go down. Nothing Parasite could've done about that. And, I don't know, the stock direction was a little bit odd, he went back through, I guess perhaps looking for a turn kill. Realizing he had some support coming in, but ends up being pretty bad situation, and Hellborn got a couple of needed kills, they're going to turn that into a top tower push as well. So... Okay, well, no, Legion has some problems. Yeah. I mean, they have zero counter push. Yeah. At least when Magnus doesn't have portal key. I mean, the you Legion could call Magnus counter... Or, no, they don't have any counter push at all. Yeah. Like, all they need... Or the only thing they can do right now is either team fight. Oh, they're going to defend the tower top. Like, Magnus going to buy the portal key now. Uh, they're setting up top. Man, so. A bit yeah, unfortunate too. We, have, we haven't talked about that at all, but yeah, of course, obviously, very difficult to stock, very difficult to steam bath when you have flies on you. And I don't know if that's going to affect Puppet Master's decision whether or not to go for a shroud this game, but it wouldn't surprise me if he just says, screw it, I'm not getting a shroud. Anyway, Dust of Relation going off a of torture. <laughs> Runs right into Swift Blade and Tempest. Not a great situation to be in. Top lane flies are still on Madman, so he's not going to be able to do too much with his invis. And Portal Key's up on Magmus. They're pushing the spot tower, but he needs to get active. Like, he's currently, what, 1-0-0. Oh oh, that Bloodlust being the only kill involvement he's had. And... I guess he wants level 11. They will catch out Swift Blade, and he's just totally screwed. As your option goes through, no! Is he gonna live? Oh my god. Okay. Well. Yeah, you cannot feel good about that. Oh. Parasite now in a really bad position. Gonna put the leech down, but here comes Rhapsody with the cutoff. Sakata's gonna help, and there's no way Parasite's getting out of this. Actually, oh. he does die, as Magnus uses the portal key to get the pick off, so ends up being a one for one. Not that great a trade. 
both yeah. of them are still at about the same amount of health. I guess we played a little bit more late game, so maybe that's a little bit in favor of the Legion side, but definitely not the engagement they were looking for, which was a free Swift Blade kill. And. Pop's still going, gonna go for the Shroud. Yeah, it looks oh, like. He has the broadsword. So. Well, I, uh, I guess he kinda has to. They're playing a gank lineup. And Puppet without the Shroud isn't really a gank, I'd say. And he's gonna have a hard time farming this game, so we can't really go for the Whispering Helm. And it's Nox playing the Puppet, so I, I I suppose he'd like to go that normally, but in this game he can't really do that. Yeah. I, mean, I think Nullstone might even be an option if you want to go something between the Whispering Helm and uh, an attack item, because at least it'll, it'll help you fight a little bit and it'll also help you farm. The problem is the Pesty ulti is just basically going to negate the effectiveness. I mean, it's a good thing to stop, but it's on such a short cooldown that it's you know, not going to be that big a deal. Well, I, I don't think I've ever seen Nullstone Puppet. <laughs> I'm sure I've seen Nullstone Puppet. I don't know when, but I'm oh. sure I've seen Nullstone Puppet. It's not like that. Yeah. I mean, I guess could work. Yeah. It's. I think it's just people typically go the Whispering Helm and Shroud build, so it's like there's no reason to go Nullstone. But in this game specifically, yeah. neither of those items are as effective as they might otherwise be. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Another pop three. Yeah, well, we'll just sit here and hang out for a while. Wait, where's... I mean, Parasite's farm isn't that good. Nope. And he's going Puzzle Box, he'll have it soon. Yeah, he's rushing it, okay. I like that, actually. Yeah. I like that a lot. That's the only thing that's going to give them much pushing presence. Obviously, they have Torture Impalement, and that's about it, though. So... Like, Puzzle Box is such a good item. It brings so yep. much to the table. <laughs> like, uh, Parasite in the Puzzle Box, it's just like another hero in the fight. Another puzzle box denizen. I love yeah, the, I like love puzzle box myself. I mean, PI got if two puzzle boxes in one game <laughs> once, and I was so happy. I think more teams should do that. Oh, two oh, well, puzzle how box. How long is the cooldown for it when uh, someone buys it? On the recipe, I don't know, but I would imagine you can get like double level three probably in Let's 40 to 45 minutes if you're okay. careful about it. Uh, but I, I can't. I don't remember actually. Is it even up in okay. the shop? You can't really see that. Yeah, I, yeah it, with, as a spectator, I don't think it tells you. Well, it's so good. I mean, if you don't kill it quick enough, right. he's just gonna like shred th through your team with the mauler. And um, if you kill him, someone's gonna take a big blow to the face. Middle lane, Swift Blade taking the Voodoo Pop, but he will die. They're gonna turn that into an Ox, though. So it ends up being a one for one so far, but it looks like Clockmuck also gonna get caught. Chain reactions are good there, but it's not gonna stop the Pesty Sun. And now, they're backing off. As I guess they see Agnes coming in from the side. No, they didn't have vision of that, so. I guess they just decided we're too far past the river, we don't really want to keep going. Ends so up just being the one for one, and again, in favor of Hellborn side is to take the opposing team's hard support, hard carry for uh, basically their suicide hero. But. I, th I think Magma's farming. Well, I mean, he isn't really using his portal key. Nope. Or uh, he used him for a sweep play kill, I guess. But they should like try to at least use the level two ultimate. I mean, he's level twelve. He compared to the other heroes, he's really high. Yeah. And if he gets gets the two man stun, that's one team fight for them basically. But they're not. Uh, I guess they're not. Oh, so probably is gonna go with the whispering helm. Uh. Okay. Guess so. I I don't know why you get broadsword <laughs> first if you're gonna go whispering uh, helm, and I don't know why you get. I don't I don't like that. I mean, if maybe he's going Elder Parasite. Oh yeah, or no? Uh, I don't think you need. No, no, no. You can't. You need the um, Beast Heart for it. I know. I'm just saying. Maybe he's going Elder oh, Parasite. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know <laughs> anymore. So I'm just making okay. like random guesses, basically. Well, I guess he wanted that damage. <laughs> uh, sure. That's quite silly, I guess. <laughs> 18 damage for 1200. Mm. Sure. I mean, I guess eventually he can make it into a shroud, but again, we've talked about this before, but the more invis you have on one team, the less valuable each invis is. Because yeah, exactly. it's just like, it's going to incentivize them to buy a reveal, and then one reveal reveals everybody, so it doesn't matter. 
And they've already got two natural ones with Madman and Magnus. So getting a yeah. third on Puppet Master is not going to be as valuable as it might otherwise be. As okay, let's see. I mean, oh, like it, what? Drunken has a shrunken already? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so he's going to be hard to kill. Fight. Okay, he's going to try to go for the, the parasite. Yeah. Is he going to have range? Oh. Yeah, he will. Actually, he does get stunned out, though. So in the middle of his, his own stun, he gets stunned. And early shrunken from DM. Kind of surprising, but it makes sense. It's a really heavy magical damage team early on. Well, uh, yeah, I guess, but I like to. S oh no, it's fine. It's fine to go shrunken right yeah. now. It, it's fine. And it's really early. I mean, it's only 17 minutes into the game. All right. It'll help him be heavily mobile in these fights, especially against the CC presence from uh, Mag. Puppet and Parasite, and top lane speaking of a couple of those heroes, looks like they're possibly trying to set something up on this Tempest, but Magmus eventually deciding actually, no, I don't want to do that. Let's just portal key on now, perhaps control the 18 minute rune. Yeah, that was the better choice. I mean, Passive was sitting, sitting behind him. Yeah. They would have been turned on. If it would have been bad. That. Maybe he'll try to kill Ancients. Dude, you can't stack them. They're already triple stacked, it's not gonna work. He's gonna jump in there. Eruption? No eruption. He doesn't have enough mana. Yeah. Right now. He has it now if he thread swaps. And if he thread swaps, he probably gets really close yes. to death. <laughs> Not a great yeah. idea. Uh, what? Well, he says it. It's yeah. worth it. That's fine. They killed it pretty fast. Not that big a deal. It's a question of whether or not they wanted it. Um, honestly, I'm kind of surprised they didn't just give that to Nox. Like, triple stacked Ancients, and he's got Helm now, so he probably could have taken that. It would have taken him a bit of time, but he needs well, farm. he, he's farming woods pretty like yeah. good. He's gonna get love from this. And um, oh, where's his creep? Okay, he has skill fucking already. Yeah. Um, well, let, let's see. Legion are farming effectively on one or like three and a half, considering parasite, who's just pushing out bot all the time. Yeah. Uh, and Hellborn, who are they gonna farm on? Swift Blade isn't really getting anything at all. Pesty soon has his portal key, 200 gold away. And Parasite um, actually might be in some trouble down here. He's getting jumped on by the uh, Drunken Master Swift Blade. He gets the face hog and the leech off. He's just looking for to get back into that Hell Cannon. Finally does so. But again, he's going to get pushed right back out. Voodoo Puppet on Swift Blade, so that's going to be difficult for them to do too much anything. And he also gets the ultimate on a Drunken. But again, that's magical damage, so it's not going to do anything. They Whoa. finally kill the Swift Blade, and they will be able to get Drunken Master out of there and get a Drunken Head port. But a nice play. And Bunny General with the chooks, man. Got away from that everything. Was really nice. Going, uh, yeah, that was okay. almost real bad. I, Ended up being just. I, I, uh, that's like everything you would hope for as Legion. <laughs> you bait out Tensing and Shrunken, you killed the Swift Blade, and now we can push tier 2 bots. Yeah. Or, well, Hellburn is gonna try to defend this at least. And I doubt uh, that's gonna oh, work okay. too well yeah. for them, it's a fake Drunken, but real Drunken's oh. coming in, Pesty's coming in as well. He's got in. a portal key, oh, will only hit key. Magnus, and he's the worst target to go for. Chain reactions will follow that up as well. Drunken Master also going for Magnus, they will kill him, but Nox's gonna get right out of there. Try a deep, sorry, Dust goes off, but he's already gone, so they do successfully defend the tower, and they get the kill onto Magnus, who is the highest farmer on the weakened team, but perhaps not as good as Nox. Also gonna turn this into a tier 1 tower push, but. I think uh, Magnus is pretty angry right now. Did you see the launch? Yeah. <laughs> Straight away as Magnus it, tablets jumps out of there. It had That's some has distance on it. Yeah, so, distance. unfortunate for him. And top tower will be denied as well. Madman pushing that. Top tower dies. Mid tower getting pressured as well by Torturer and Puppet Master. So, effective split push. They do lose to Magnus, but they take a couple of towers in response. Obviously, one was denied, so that's not the greatest situation, but it's still dead, and that'll help open up the Hellborn in the woods. Parasite and Torturer already taking advantage of that. Is there. No, maybe not. Maybe just Parasite. Maybe they are. Pokemon, not really sure where he wants to go. No, Pop's gonna farm the triple stacked ancients, and he's gonna have his shroud. Oh, he has. If he decides for shroud, or if he's gonna go for El Parasite, uh, he has both of them right now. And torture is dead. <laughs> Cluck must be in nothing, Cluck nothing that he could have done. Just sort of ran right into Tempest. I don't know why they didn't see him. He had the uphill. I figured that he would see him over the cliff, but apparently not. Wild on a parasite running away. 
They sort of know he's there. Invis Drunken Master might look to try to catch him with the stun. Nope, can't get the angle, oh. and Invis is now he's gone. So I'd say Bomb Bo General is playing pretty well this yes, game. Yes, he is. 271 GPM, so it's not that impressive in terms of like the overall farm, but the plays have been good. Getting the Invis Does that pass book level 3? Uh, or no, it's level 2 right now. It has to okay. be. There's no way it's level 3. Yeah. 22 minutes with uh, 277 GPM. And okay, so Puppet decided to go for Shroud. Okay. Oh yeah, that works. It's fine. Yep. Yeah. They can. Let's see, who are they gonna try to gank now? Oh, it's gonna go to farm with the Shroud. <laughs> Value. Um, I, I like. Oh. Yeah, bottom lane, they actually will get the jump right off the bat of oh. Drunken Master. Drunken Head was used again, but he still dies. Physical damage, man, that's helpful. And it looks like Magnus is going to pay for that indiscretion as he's got bugs on him. Ends up being a one for one, but again, a good trade for Legion. As they're taking out the opposing team's short laner. And Magnus at this point, yeah, technically also the short laner, but not that big a deal if he dies. They also get a Shrunken Head cooldown up, which is going to matter. So that's the negative downside. That's the downside of uh, Trunk and Head early on. Is as this game goes later, it's going to be a relatively short Trunk and Head. Yeah, and um, it, it has really done that much this nope. game. He used it both to port out and he used it there to try to stay alive, but he died anyway. So, and Lee are going to get tier two top, or no? Never mind. <laughs> never mind. You'd think. Well, they pushed it heavily. But in fact, they might just go for a kill on the Tempest or, per or Pestilence. They do have Torture and Magman Madman here, along with the Parasite inside of a Wild Hunter, but looks like they're just going to back up. The, the chat is, is um, wondering what your nationality is, by the way. Uh, I'm from Sweden. I think you can yeah. hear that in my okay, accent. That's what I figured, too. I don't know. I thought yeah. you were German, but for no, some I'm reason. German. Um, let's see. Is he going to use the Trunken? He did. Yeah. And yeah, he's not going to get too much out of that. He's not going to be able to get a counter kill unless he jumps on torture. But if he does that, he's going to be in some trouble. Yep, Why? just gets backed off. Third, trying already down to seven seconds. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's going to oh, be a problem. And Tempest and here goes Tempest. Right he's got to be a problem. He's got no mana, and he's going to die. Can't net the ultimate off. Looks like Madman might be in some trouble. Has the bugs on him. One v one so one for one so far. Clockmuck also going to be in some trouble. He's totally screwed. Swift Slash is going down there. Really helpful. Eruption actually not only doing all that much. Finally gets the Lava Surge, and Swift Blade is going to be in some trouble. But nope, Raps the ult in the background will stop all the damage. Now Nox has got bugs on him, and again. Assassin's Shroud not doing very much with bugs. In the meantime, Parasite trying to pick off somebody, but instead just dies, so... Yeah, funny general. Sorry, but... We liked what you did before, and that situation wasn't so great. Uh, that was... That went from really good to really bad. Yeah. Quite quickly for the Legion side. I... Well, did something cancel Magnus Portal Key? Uh, I mean, I he did know. low kills. Yeah. And he had a, like, good angle, or so to say. But it didn't get the port key off, I think? I don't know if it, it could, could have been on a cooldown. I was not uh, uh, looking at it all that much. I just saw him channeling the eruption because other people were fighting stuff. But, yeah. That could have been a really good fight if Magnus had gotten a great ultimate off, but obviously that didn't happen. I think that's why Papa died. I'm pretty sure Magnus said, I'm ulting right now. So right. Papa ran in and just got stunned and died. <laughs> Alright. That's... And that's, to be fair, that's something that Clark talked about. We actually inter talked a little bit about after uh, after his win over... What's their faces now? Chat roulette boys. Uh, chat roulette, yeah. There you go. Um, and talked about how he's thinking that uh, the only real problem for this team right now is their team play presence, and Magnus the bottom lane is dead. Tempest ultimate use, not that big a deal. Massacre. But, uh, yeah, you know, this is Nox's new player to the team. I think I don't know if Yellow is actually new. I don't, uh, or if it's just uh, he's. This is his first cycle for them. That's what I thought. They had some uh, roster changes, so right? Call them. And oh, so they're gonna get caught. Okay. You'd expect uh, that uh, there would be some, some perhaps some team play issues as they get accustomed to working together. But yeah, Conger going down and. Should be pretty easy token there. I would guess for Drunken, but maybe Pestilence. Yeah, actually Pestilence looks like he's going to some token. Take it. Uh, they figure no, he's the no. one that's jumping in. 
And their lead is just gonna go bigger. They're, I think they're gonna take the, at least two out of towers with this token. Uh, they're, I, I'm guessing they're gonna wait for Temp Salty before taking any bigger fights. But when they have that, they're just gonna group up and push. Alright. And top tower will be in deny range as well, so... Legion technically do get a tier 2 tower in the top lane while they were taking Convor, but not exactly what they were looking for. And the, let's see. I'm guessing that Parasite's gonna build the Soul Spill work right now. They really need one in the team fights, uh, or else they're gonna be a minus armor, and you really don't want that on your carry or initiator. Yeah. That's not gonna be great. I mean, yeah, and we talked about before. Already not the tankiest team in the world. I mean, Nox right now is at a thousand health. So, is he on intreds? Yeah, he's on intreds. So. He'll be closer to 1200, yeah, 1200 or so, when he gets to strength threads, but at the same time, that's not that much help. So, he's gonna die real quick. Anyway, tier 2 getting killed in the bottom lane by the Legion side, so they are still up by two towers, which is gonna be real good for them. The problem is, can they counter this push? Eventually, they're gonna have to. So far, they've done a really good job of dodging fights and uh, just pushing. Anyway, port cancelled. In the middle lane, Madman trying to go back. Facehog looked for by Parasite, but he can't find it. There it is, finally. Puzzlebot goes yep. up, and all of a sudden, the Pestilence is like, well, actually, this is not going to work out all that well. Transmute is on Parasite's creep. He's going to try to get the counter call on Tempest. That's not going to happen, though. Bungie General going to fall right there. Madman coming back in, but he's got the bugs on him, so he knows exactly where he is. And it's a pretty solid play there from Pesty, knowing he had the Rhapsody back up. So Blade trying to lock down this madman who still has bugs on him, but is very, very quick. And there's bugs, and they can't catch him. I don't know what they... Oh, well, they almost got the token, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that. I mean, pretty much diving a tower for Pesty when they have Rhapsody and Portal Keys on the other team. Not so good of a decision. And they would have gotten token, but they only would have gotten token. So, oh. it's like, they don't get a kill out of it. Let's see, oh, they're gonna defend. Oh, it, yeah, yeah. Mag Magnus doing the ulti. Get put right there. Will they actually be able to kill uh, Pestilence? Yeah, there goes the token, but Magnus ulti doing basically nothing. And Tempest jumping in, looking for something else. He does not have an ultimate, thanks to the lack of mana. He will look in the background and die. They do manage to kill Magnus in the meantime anyway. Torture falling really far low, and he'll fall as well. Parasite going to be able to finish off the Swift Blade. And now Parasite going to die himself, but there goes the Legion side. They're getting actually a pretty solid cleanup here. Pestilence going to try to run away. He's got Flight active. Nice portal key. That auto attack was in uh, the air as it was going through. Didn't it go off? I mean, the it crit went signs off. went... It went off, okay. it just didn't hit him. <laughs> okay. Like, you could see uh, the green whiplash wait. proc. Well... Wow, well, okay, well, that was a really quick port key. I uh, mean, yeah. it's just when you throw the timing. green thing, the crit sign comes up when it hits. Not in the midair, so... Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was really nice by Roberto. Nice. That must have been, like, same frame. Yeah. Okay. That sucks for Legion, but good for Hellborn. Oh, and you're right, T1 and also. Okay. Hey! You're right, first time I see this. Wow. The Nullstone Puff Pet. I am a genius. That, that was a good call. That's... Oh. I'm proud of that one. There's okay, not too well, much yeah. I have to be proud of in my life, but that that is... That's on the list, man. The list is uh, growing. I... There's like I get, four it, things on there now. It's gonna be good for him. He's at least gonna like counter one good spell. I mean, right. uh, either Pesty Birds or Drunken Lunge or Swift Ulti or Rap Stun. Or Tempest on as well. Tempest on, yeah. So, I mean, they do have a lot of good stuff to, to yeah. take off. The issue is sort of they have so much stuff that anything can take it off. So. You're not well, you're actually right. This is a really good item. I mean, this isn't a shrunken yeah, game. That's, that's sort of what I was thinking. Was <laughs> Nice. I like this. It's going to give you some defensive capability, some offensive capability, and it's going to be really effective against this team because they do have a lot of single target spells. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What's Madman going for? I don't think there's going to be a Shrunk. Oh, he went to Basher. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. I wouldn't have so imagined the... Shrunken either. But Mighty Blade, that's just your natural thought. Yeah, Basher's good. So they're putting out a lot of items on Legion side right now. And Hellborn are getting items as well. Yeah. Soon, Shrunken on Pesty. 
Oh, okay. oh no, Magma's taking some damage from the dance floor, and now he's gonna be in trouble. Can't portal key. He's got a lava surge back. He will hit a bunch of people with it. Steam bath is there, but he's still gonna die. Unable to get the PK off. And taking a death as a result. So good pick off, but it cost him a lot of heroes and a lot of resources. Let's see, what can Hellburn do out of this? What? Rhapsody has a portal key? <laughs> wow. Oh, Rhapsody has really farmed this game. Yeah, Four that's interesting. 4-0 and okay. 8, yeah. I mean, 234 gold per minute as a solo support? That's not bad. Compare that to Cluckmuck running around at this plate of Greaves. Aww, poor Cluck. Well, he oh likes God. to die. Well, 1-5 and 5, he's dies. dying a lot. Yeah, let's see, um... Well, port key rhapsody, that's gonna be such a factor in team fights. I mean when Legion thinks that they're gonna kill someone, out of nowhere rhapsody ultimate. Denied. That's gonna be such a game change or a fight changer. That's the correct term. Hmm. Indeed. Alright, so we're just past the half hour mark here in game one of the grand finals. Of course Rexars are up one to nothing thanks to their Winner's bracket advantage, but it's a relatively even game, and I think I'm not sure if actually Ogre and Rexars played each other before. I don't think they did. No, they came from opposite sides of the bracket, and Rexars, or sorry, Ogre lost to Wop Dash. And middle lane, I'm missing stuff because I'm talking about things that don't actually matter that much. But Pop the, no, Parasite died. Okay. Yes. Well, He's dead at 27 gold per minute, so. Not having the greatest time. <coughs> oh, Fox they're going to level three. Though. Yeah. Uh, no, never mind. They're not. The tower is too low. It's gonna be hard to fight around that. The Hellborn had destroyed a legion tower. So, pushing up top, but okay. Free tower. This token was taken a long time ago by Bond Pestilence, but it looks like they're gonna crush the tier three here, and that's gonna force support back. Eruption from Magma is actually not doing all that much. It took him a long time to get the lava surge off. There goes the shrunken heads up from Pestilence and Drunken Master in the background. Rap C ultimate already being used. Of course, didn't do all that much either. Nobody dying quite yet, or even dropping all that low as a fair number of cooldowns went off. Looks like Tempest could be the one to get caught. Barrel roll will connect onto two, so Slash is going down there as well, but Magmus and Madman both gonna fall. Puppet Master's there, but he's gonna get helped by Tempest, and that's real bad. Looks like it's being cleaned up for the Legion, Helper side, and Parasite respawning. That's not okay. great. This is gonna be mid-tower at least, and maybe Rax. Two buybacks to use. Both Madman and Puppet Master are coming back into this fight. And looks like Pestilence apparently didn't realize that because he jumped in onto the Parasite. The rest of the Hellborn side is going to retreat now. And Swiftblade going to pop the Power Supply. Wow, that gave him a lot of mana. Um, <clears throat> bash? Spin and leave. No, Bash? bash? Uh, no, no bash. bash. Okay. RNG, our gods well, are not with Demstrats. The Hellborn is but they still lose a tier tower. Three. <laughs> That's funny. I can't see why Legion did that. I mean, Parasite was still dead when they... Yep. They, de they defended the base. They were going back Hellborn, that is. And then they just ran in for no apparent reason, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. So, well, the game is gonna be a lot harder for them right now. I mean, I a, 13k gold behind. I gotta say, I don't think Magnus is having the greatest game of all. I mean, he did really, really well in the landing phase, but didn't do too much with that farm. And since then has had some issues Starting fights and continuing fights, like that eruption at the beginning of that fight wasn't the greatest. It did some damage, but uh, not really fantastic positioning. And then the pursuit, of course, afterwards didn't work out very well either. So, so I don't know if it's him or if it's whoever's making the calls. Maybe Cluck. It's probably Cluck's fault. <laughs> yeah, it's always Cluck's it's fault. Probably Cluck's fault. Well, as you say, are saying he hasn't really gotten the best ulti stuff. I'd say <laughs> his yeah. ulti haven't really been. Good at all this game. I think it's done like four. I mean, yeah, only... he's used it. It just hasn't been that great. Yeah. Now let's see. Um, well, I think Hellborn are gonna wait for Congor and then yep. just push space with yep. Tempest Ultimates, and then Legion are gonna have a pretty hard time to defend against that. Sounds like it's very possible, and Congor should be back up relatively soon as well. On the positive side of the ledger, Pestilence has really recovered. 
I mean, he's 3-3 and 19, so he's been in a lot of these fights and hasn't died all that much, especially considering how badly he was shut down in early game. Uh, Didn't he die three times yeah, in lane? Yeah, he basically he, he died. All of his deaths were pretty much in the lane. Uh, I okay. think he died in one of the team fights as well, but I think two of them were in uh, were in lane. So since then, he's had a really good time. He's recovered very well after 325 gold in it. So definitely proving to be an impactful hero in this game. Um, of him, he's, he's gonna catch Madman. Yeah. And will they actually have enough damage and lockdown to get him? Shrunken Egg has popped. Had a pretty good time, actually. There he goes, Skato. Switch Slash is probably not necessary, but still go through. That was going to pop Shrunken Egg to take the silence off of him from Parasite. Looks like Torture is going to fall in the background as well as Clock is just always dying. Well, that's Parasite inside the Puzzle Box minion. Now realizing very quickly that's not a great time. As Tempest myself. takes the true damage, but it's still enough to kill Rocky Balboa on the Parasite. And the rest of the Legion side and Magnus and Puppet Master are going to back off, so... Not the greatest time. There's Congor. That's a really bad time to lose a team fight. Uh, this game went from hard to close to impossible. I, uh, I don't. I don't think that uh, Ogre are looking too good when it comes to. I mean, if you look at the spells, Hellborn didn't really use any cooldown spells except for Swift Ulti that fight. All right, and it's back up in 60 seconds. Solomet. <clears throat> okay. Uh, no, yeah, it's gonna be real hard for Legion to win this game. They don't really have any big items coming along. Well, 3200 uh, gold on Puppet, so he could get a Ginjarel here or something, but then he wouldn't have buyback, which would be probably worse. And whoa, whoa. double invis There's... isn't really gonna help him. Uh, looks like Voodoo Puppet will be put up onto Pestilence. The question is, will he actually do any damage to it? It's just kind of sitting there. Yep. It's taking a oh, bunch, well. and he's not going to kill him, though. In the meantime, they do pick up Torture once again. Paris is going to throw out a leech, but actually not going to do all that much. There's a face hug onto Drunken Master, but he hits up the Drunken Head. Token of Life goes through, and Rhapsody in the back with a huge ultimate. Going to stop all the damage. Finally gets cancelled, but really nothing that Ogre can do. When they're all sitting right in range, that Rhapsody ulti looks like Mav is going to get chased down here as well. He's going to be in a lot of trouble into the well, and he's dying. So a little bit of an overextension possibly here from the Hellborn team, but they're still going to clean up these kills. We're actually getting channeled, actually, as Magmus buys back. They will get the kill onto Denver Pro, so yeah. Not really a good idea to dive the well here, guys. Swiftblade's already dead. Looks like Drunken Master could be next on the list, but he's pretty damn tanky, so we'll be able to get out of there. Meantime, the racks are going down because Rhapsody and Tempest have objective-based gaming in mind. Drunken Master getting popped by the lunge, as well as the uh, puppet show, and he's going to fall eventually. So they do lose mid racks, but they get a couple of hero kills out of it. It does cost them a buyback on Magnus. And that could have been a lot better for Hellborn, I think, if they had just, you know, taken the racks and not dove the well. But They dove for no reason at all. <laughs> <laughs> they dove for literally no reason at all. Uh, I don't understand that. What was Swift uh, even doing? He, he just ran into the well. <laughs> yeah. Um, kills. Yeah, I guess. It's Denver, at least. Uh, well... They got the Rex. Yeah. Uh, and Legion are... They can't really get anything out of that, those two kills. So it's really fine for Hellborn. Right. Just look at the lead. 20k gold, 30, almost 30k experience. Holy... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think Hellborn can this. Is, uh, <laughs> I think this is. the only thing you can say about that is... I'm not sure if they could have lost the... I think they could have won the game right there if they hadn't dove. they just taken top racks. That basically would have been the game. Um, and in this, they're going to leave Ogre in it, at least for another five minutes or so. But it's still going to ultimately, I think, come out in Rexar's favor. They're just way too far ahead at this point. And... I mean, sure, there's a Madman and there's a Puppet Master on Legion side, but Hellborn have Swift Blade, Director Master, and Pestilence. So it's not like even okay. as, as this game goes later, all of a sudden... The carry potential on the Legion side is going to out or overtake the uh, the Hellborn team. And uh, there's like nothing really Pop can get. Like, right. He has now five to four k gold. What is he going to get with it? I mean, he can get the symbol. Oh. Yeah, symbol. But I think that's what it has to be. It, it doesn't really matter. I mean, his damage output isn't big at all. Like right. Hellborn can just basically ignore him. Right. What is he going to do? I mean, uh, we saw that Voodoo mean, Puppet, they were afraid to even attack the Voodoo Puppet. Like, yeah. they were concerned. Uh, Speaking of Puppet, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble, gets the bugs put on him actually as the Null Stone got taken off by the Drunken Master, and he's just dead. Wow. 
Um, he died well, real quick. I mean, like it, it's just a sign when the Rhapsody is level 19. Yep. <laughs> yep. Like he's eight level higher than the other support. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I I think it's time to like maybe Rhapsody's consider. Six zero and fifteen, nearly three hundred gold per minute as a soul support Rhapsody. He's playing really good this game. Yeah, he really is. And that, and that ultimate in that last team fight was amazing. Right in the perfect position. Obviously, Portal Key helps with that, but hit all four heroes and stopped a bunch of damage. So, really, really valuable. And it looks like Rex Hours are basically done with being in this game, and they just want to win now. So, that's their plan. Tempest has Portal Key, Ultimate, and Shrunken Head all off cooldown. Shrunken Head's up for everybody except for Pestilence. She's not even here yet, and that'll be up in 10 seconds, so it's not that big a deal. But. I think they can dive the world right now. Yeah, they probably can. There's a heart on uh, Drunken. It's not like he's gonna be dying. Anyway, Magma's jumping in there, trying to do this harass. That not a good plan. Actually, saw over on the other end of a of a play exactly like that in game one of the last series. I want to say, but uh, anyway, on top of what gets popped by Drunken Master, there goes the eruption from Magmas with the second buyback. They will kill Demstrats on the Magmas though. In the background, once again, Rhapsody with the ultimate, stopping all the damage. Magmas dying again. There goes Bunny General the Parasite. They do managed to kill the token, but hey, that's a token. In the background, Rhapsody is actually going 1v1 against Madman, and she can win that, which is hilarious. Voodoo Puppet going to go through onto Swiftplay, but he can spin and stop all the damage. And now Puppet and Sorcerer are trying to take out this Drunken Master, that's not going to happen, and that means that, yeah, that's huge. No huge surprise that uh, Rex, or Ogre, excuse me, chooses to bow out at that point. They were pretty much no way that they were going to come back from that, but... It does mean that Rexars are in fact going to take a two to nothing advantage in this series, thanks to their presence coming in from the winners bracket. And do you have any final thoughts on that game there, Yellow Train? Well, I'd say perfectly or uh Rexars played really well. Yeah. Uh, all of this should say. Maybe some mistakes in the laning phase, some unnecessary deaths, but aside from that they played like really, really well. They took the right team fights, they made the right calls and just it shows in, in the stats at the end, 45k experience lead and 30k gold lead. Uh, that was a fun game to watch, actually. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a very entertaining game in the end. We had a lot of hero kills, so a lot of action, always good. But uh, in the end, I think it's pretty much what you said. I mean, Rexar has just played better. You can't have an 08, 8 0 and 17 reps <laughs> the opposing team that far outfarms everybody but your hard carry. Like, right. And Ralph is basically a hero that usually dies in the team fights right. because she's like the one that does the ulti in the middle of team fights. Right. And if you're hard support at that position, you're usually dying. On a channel of ulti, and you can, so you can't yeah. move, and you're gonna sit there, and it that takes away all the damage on your teammates, which means everybody's like, oh, we'll kill the Rhapsody, it's the only thing we can possibly kill. So, yeah, yeah so Rhapsody is usually not a hero that survives a lot in team fights. So, great play actually there from Rexar's captain. But in the meantime, we will throw it to a quick break, and we'll be back in just a few minutes with Game 2.